Hey guys, welcome back to another Render Tip Tuesdays. Today we are going to take a look at custom patterns, especially when we deal with irregular shapes, such as um, this example here. So we have this bike saddle, which has, which has a perforated uh, pattern on top, but it is cut off on the sides and also here in the center. So today we're going to take a look at custom cutoff maps with which we can mask our dot pattern here. You're going to be able to use this method for a lot of um, different use cases. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to apply a matte black paint here and double click on to the material to open to the material graph here. I will move this a bit around, maybe even close the library here to have more space. All right, the first part is to add a new texture. So go to right click textures and mesh texture. So this mesh is gonna be our dot pattern. So click here on preview color to see what the outcome will be. And then go ahead on mapping type and click on planar. Now we need to reset this, go to move texture and fit this to the set axis. So now this will be projected from the top. Go to OK. And now scroll down where it says shape and pattern. We want to change the shape diameter to maybe one millimeter and the pattern spacing to, let's say two. So this will give us a nice um, small circle pattern here. But as you can see, we will have these weird shapes that will appear on the sides, also here in the center. Since the pattern is projected from the top, this will distort these, these circles on the side. The goal is to mask those um, shapes out here on the side. I'm actually going to change the shape diameter to 0.5 and the pattern spacing maybe to 1.5. So this, this gives us a little bit higher density. Next, we have to go up to the color and we got, are going to change the color to white. Let's move this up and the background to black. Also make sure that we have alpha mode opaque set. This makes sure that the color and the background are fused together and not create a alpha pattern. This will be important later on. Next, we are going to add a new material, which is the material which will shine through. So right click, go to materials and go to paint. So this is a new paint material. Go out of preview color mode in order to um, see this and connect the new paint to the label material. So this new paint material will be layered on top of the old one. So now we can add this nice gradient effect. Right click, go to textures, go to color gradient, double click and also go to the preview color. And now we can choose a nice flashy um, gradient here. So I'll take orange and some sort of pink. And now we want to move this and rotate this with holding shift 90 degrees. So it will go from front to back. Go out of the preview color and connect the color gradient to the color input of the paint material. So this will be our new label. And in order to only see this paint material where, these, where this dot pattern is, just connect this pattern with the opacity input of the paint. So this will give us a nice preview already. But as you can see, we still have these distorted circles here and also in the center. So this is the next step we are going to take. So right click and add a new texture and choose curvature texture. So this is where the magic happens. 
double click this curvature texture and go to preview color. And here you can see the effect that this texture has. Wherever there's a curve in the surface, this texture would add a certain color. So here we want to change the negative curvature to black, the zero curvature to white, and the positive curvature also to black. So now we are going to create the mask, which masks our dot pattern. So I'm going to change the cutoff to 0 0.1. And already we can see that this has now a nice sharp edge here. We can change the radius to a larger number, which will create an, a more fuzzy edge here. And we can also try to change the cutoff to a lower number. If it gets down too low, you can see that the um, top surface will be also mask, which is something that we don't want. So I'm going to stick to a higher number. So here you can see on the sides, we still have some gray areas and we don't want to have um, any color or any of this new paint material showing through here. So what we can do is we can duplicate this curvature mask, go out of the preview color, right click, go to utilities, color composite and connect the curvature to the source and the new one to the background. Now double click on it, go to preview color once again. And now as soon as we go and change this blend mode from normal to multiply, you can see that now these black areas are much darker. So these will mask out our um, mesh much better. So now the next thing is we have to combine our mesh with our mask. So in order to do this, we can use another color composite. Right click, go to utilities, color composite, and connect this uh, curvature mask to the source and use this um, mesh texture as the background. Now double click, go to the preview color again. And now we can change the blend mode here also to multiply. And as you can see, here on the sides, we basically masked out all these white dots. So now, as soon as we connect this new color composite to the opacity of our paint material, this paint material ne no longer shows up here on the sides. Of course, you can play around and make it a, a much better than I did, but uh, this is the general the general idea. We still have some color showing here in the back and we can also get rid of this. Right click, go to textures, go to mesh. So we are going to add a new mesh texture, preview color, double click it and change the mapping type to planar again. So we are going to fit it to the set axis in order to project it from the top. And we scroll down and change the shape from a circle to a square. So now I'm going to change the shape width to around 18 and the shape height to, let's say, uh, 50. And as soon as we space this out a little bit more, so let's say 100, we can see the, the outcome. I think, yes, uncheck the lock aspect ratio in order to change the width and the height independently. So I'm going to change that to 18, uh, 50 to 18, that way, perfect. And now I am, I'm going to move this texture with the translate handle, which you can add here to the back. So let's move this. All right, we have to space this out even more. So let's go to 200. We only want this um, square here. So I'm going to change the shape height to 16. I think this is perfect. And now again, we have to change the alpha mode of this pattern to opaque in order to combine the black and white as extra colors. Now we can go out of preview color, right click on this connection here, go to utilities and add a new color composite. 
So this will be in between here. And now we can add the new mesh, this square, to the background. Double click the color composite and change this to multiply again. So now we have stenciled out this area here in the back as well. So this is how you can add multiple color composites in order to mask out your um, texture. And you can use any texture. I just use this dot pattern for the sake of this tutorial. So this is how you create custom cutoff masks for your pattern. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below, like and subscribe for more videos every week. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye.